back to another deadlift day for my training um, up to four working sets uh, in this workout just doing some warm-ups although watching somebody warm up is kind of boring it's probably something that a lot of people should pay more attention to when I post these videos and the way that I warm up I see a lot of people warming up in just asinine ways typically uh, a framework I'll give to people is take your target weight for the workout and then just do percentages of that so start with like 50% of your target weight then 60 70 80 90 and then obviously the target weight itself start with higher reps and taper down the reps as you go through those percentages so if you're doing sets of five on your working sets like I'm doing today you don't necessarily have to do sets of five on all of your warm-up sets uh, for me, as I've mentioned in other videos, I'm trying to build in more volume, so I've been doing uh, more constant reps during my warm-ups, but typically I'd start with something like 10 reps, and then maybe 8, 6, 5, 3, 1, or something like that. The more warm-up sets you can do is great. They don't take a lot out of you. They make sure you're nice and warm for your working weight, and it's a great opportunity to practice your technique. And I don't uh, mean to talk about warm-ups all the way through my deadlift videos here, but this is pretty boring. Just me deadlifting 140. Nothing really to note about my technique. Uh, double overhand with no hook again, which I'm going to test on the end of this cycle to see what my max is. As I've mentioned before, uh, doing these back extensions, I was kind of going a little too fast previously, so I tried to slow that down. It felt a lot slower to me. It looks a little slower on video, uh, so I definitely could still do a better job with that. On to some V-handle pull-downs. I actually just took some new photos uh, for the website for my headshots because they were really outdated. And I was admiring my own guns. They were looking pretty good. And I would say that V-handle pull-downs are probably one of the biggest factors in that because they just really target the biceps and the forearms. These are challenging for the forearms as well, especially after doing double overhand no hook uh, deadlifts. And I really just struggle with these just from a breathing and conditioning standpoint. I am very tired during these sets. In fact, you can see me stop a couple times uh, and try to catch my breath, and uh, like right here. And so doing four sets of this was tough, and in the next week, the sets will be bumped to five, so that's going to be a real big challenge for me. Uh, definitely not looking forward to that. Finishing off with my French curls with the cable machine, again, targeting the forearm, really trying to work that grip strength as much as possible. I uh, realized during this particular set I was rushing quite a bit, which is why I did that slow uh, finisher rep there and then finish the workout with these um, single handle ab wheel rollouts which are quite a bit more difficult than the uh, regular ab wheel but i will say even though they're harder i feel like it puts more of the pressure on the arms rather than the core so of course there is no such thing as a truly isolation exercise uh, everything we do is kind of in combination but I think I'll go back to the regular at wheel next week. I'll see you guys next time.